All right, I got tobacco in the shop. Another rainy weekend. Um, I noticed the other day whenever I'd run, when I was running, I didn't have any temperature showing up on my gauge, on my engine water temperature, coolant temperature. I've been running it here for a little bit, and it's not moving. Uh, seems to be dead. So. I'm gonna try to troubleshoot this problem. Uh, see, see if I can figure out if it's a sensor or the gauge. I hope it's a sensor because I think the gauge you gotta buy this whole cluster. Uh, could be wrong. Could be a fuse blown out. I don't know. I'm gonna look it over though. Okay, these. Well, dog on it. Okay, start this over here. I'm not sure which wire does what, so we're gonna test uh, voltage first. Um, I'm just putting some little pieces of copper wire that I made in these holes. This gives me a connection point that way I ain't got to poke holes in my wire. I hate, I hate messing up these wires with up here on top of the engine especially because they get full of dirt. They get a lot of heat. They get a lot of moisture up here when it rains. and So I don't like doing it that way. So now I'm gonna get me some uh, gator clips and check this. Okay, there we go. We got, we do have voltage on this one. We got about 5.24 volts. And this one, we have about Five volts and I'm assuming that's a ground there so we've got I'm not real sure how this one works so we've got voltage on both sides here now the resistance across your sensor is what changes your gauge so when it gets hot it changes resistance so what i'm going to have to try to figure out here is we got a green and white <coughs> and a green and black stripe um, those are the two that have voltage to them so yeah we're looking at five volts on each side this is a little unusual. I didn't know they worked that way. I may have a bad um, gauge unit in the cab. So what I'm gonna do is, let me look at my gauge. Okay, right now my gauge is pegged on zero temperature or cold. And if we, Make a connection here. See what I get. Gauge is still on zero there. See what I get here. Okay, so when I hit that with the ground, I got a full peg hot so that tells me the sensor in the cab or the the gauge in the cab is working uh, most likely it's my sensor here so all right whenever i can't understand something and i got time i like to try to figure it out i try to try to learn something i i didn't quite understand earlier why i had uh two hot wires coming into the temperature sensor but when i looked it up in the book it said it also controlled the uh, the grid heater. So to test that theory, to make sure I'm not on the wrong track, I have a wire connected here to one side and I've got 5.3 volts. Now if I switch it to the other side, 
This is what's really odd. And I'm a little more baffled. Is now I got 19 volts. So <laughs> let me put the fuse back in for the grid heater. Now my volts go back to five. So <clears throat> I don't know why it went from five to 19. I don't even know how it gets 19, but anyway, there's some electronics on this backhoe that I've never quite understood and I'm trying to figure them out. So that's kind of where I'm at now. So what I'm assuming is since the voltage changed on this side, this is the one that controls your actual grid heater. So if the temperature is below a certain degree, when you turn on the key, it'll say wait to start. And if it's above a certain temperature, it gets a signal that we don't need wait to start, we just start. So, I think that's what's going on there. I'm, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. So the one I'm hooked up to now is the grid heater. I'm gonna hook it up to the um, one that I believe is the green black should be the temperature sensor. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another test here in just a second. So it looks like if I don't change the resistance, uh, we're at about 195 ohms, 195 and a half. And uh, the dude's super, I mean, if you just barely touch it, we're jumping, you know, off the, I'm just barely moving this. And I mean, we, we just, we go off the chart pretty quick. So whenever I close the circuit, we get a hot signal to the gauge. And whenever I start to open the circuit, our temperature comes back down. So that tells me when it's cold, there should be less resistance. And the hotter it gets, the more resistance there should be. But it should be around 195 according to what I'm seeing here. And I may be doing this all wrong, I don't know. Sometimes, uh, like I say, I like to try to learn things. <laughs> um, sometimes I might waste a lot of time trying to learn things. But the more I know about this machine, the more I understand about how it works, the more I understand. Uh, just like today, I was shocked to see there's three wires on my, my coolant uh, temperature sensor. I always thought there was just two. You got a ground and then you got the signal that uh, changes. Um, that wire's kind of tight. But anyway, I learned something there. So when I learned that, I'm like, well, what, what in the world causes, or why would we need this to be this way? So that's why I'm uh, kind of looking into it. I guess... Uh, my own meter see like i say that thing just jumping up and down but i'm gonna test that sensor one more time i think the sensor is bad i mean if we got a good connection from this wire if i can go through the potentiometer and i can change it and i can see the needle move i can make the needle stop i can make it go up or down that tells me that the wiring is good most likely the gauge is good um to be honest with you, I probably really should have, um, I should probably be within a certain range on that, on the gauge in the cab. So it could be that it's out of range. There could be something going on with it, but I think we're just looking at a bad temperature sensor. So I got a bad temperature sensor on the backhoe. And I really don't want to drain, I don't, I don't have time to drain the water out of it tonight, or the antifreeze. I'm going to change it at some point. But what I'm going to do today is attempt to do this without draining the water. So we're going to see how that works. So I'm going to relieve the pressure off the system. See how quick 
I thought I had time today to take this stuff apart and drain the antifreeze and all that good stuff, but it didn't work out. I've got to get this done. I got a job in the morning and I don't really want to mess with changing antifreeze tonight. So, I got the new sensor. gonna have to see how this goes. I've never tried this before so this may be a really bad idea. But my thought is already leaking a little bit there. Um, my thought is we're gonna swap them like that right there. That wasn't so bad was it? Sometimes maybe you don't need to drain all your antifreeze out to change something out like that. That was pretty painless right there. I lost a little bit. Um, anyway, we'll get back to changing the antifreeze or the coolant at another day. This is, uh, I've got to get this thing ready to go for the morning. Uh, I need to finish greasing it front loader and I got the rear I got the back old, uh, all greased up and ready to go I'm going to check the air in the tires I got a bead that leaks on one of my back tires and it's not enough to I mean I got to air it up once a month it's that slow of a leak so it's not really worth messing with but I do need to uh I just can't believe how easy that was right there. You don't know till you try, I guess, huh? Okay. It was easy until I tried to plug this in. Son of a... What the heck? Okay, this is the plug that was on the old one, and the new one is different. The part number on this one is what happens when you order crap online. Son of a gun. So I got the wrong sensor. Or they changed the plug on them. I didn't even check that. That's the way it goes. About the time you think you're doing something right and you're ahead of the you know, getting ahead of the game a little bit. That, that's exactly what happened right there. And I figured out the sensor I had is a three-wire sensor. And the reason it's a three-wire sensor, one's ground, one goes to your gauge in your cab. And the other one I found out goes to a controller, uh, some type of relay or uh, maybe even a PC board on the uh, cold start. So... Not sure how I'm going to remedy this. The, <laughs> this may be, I may need to order a different sensor, so. So, let's do this again. I have a sensor for sale if anybody needs one. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing. I didn't lose a lot of antifreeze the first time. Let's see if it happens the second time. Oh my gosh. This is frustrating.
put a little Teflon tape on there and we will try this again. Take two. Okay. Oop, lost a little more that time, didn't I? Come on. Get in there. There we go. All right. Yeah. That was really not cool. I thought I was being cool. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta laugh at yourself, don't you? Kiss crying don't help. Dad, come on, I should have just went to the dealer and bought the stupid thing, it would have been done. Oh well. I know what I gotta do now. I gotta bite the bullet and go to the dealer. I'll call him in the morning and get him to order me one. Rudd. Alright guys. We got the right one this time. Um, I got the wrong camera. We're gonna try this again. See if I can't get this thing out. That's about the best angle I can get on it there. Without being in the way. Three wire. It's cold out today. It's warming up a little bit. The goats and the cows all think it's time to eat. Because I just heard my truck pull in. I just went and got it off a job that was... Oh... Uh, Better relief. Better probably uh, loosen the radiator cap a little bit. Get the pressure off of it. Remind me to tighten that. Okay. Oh man, just dropped it in the snow. Okay. We did this twice now. We're going to do it again. And this is what happens when you do this without draining your, your antifreeze out. Pour it up here as high as you can. Hopefully you don't drop the parts. And you just lose very little. This engine's not hot. I just started up and loaded it on the trailer, but it's not at all hot. So it's just a little bit warmed up. So. go. I can mark this job as done finally I think well. I need my sock on there. Kind of weird if you're trying to watch the camera. There's a little delay there I guess in my actions but uh, get this thing tightened up and we'll test it out here in a sec. I ordered the other one online and it was the wrong one of course. So I think we got the right one this time. Please don't tell me I got the wrong one again. Yes! That's better. Alright, we'll test her out here. I think we got success. She came up off of cold. Uh, been sitting here island for about 20 minutes, 15 minutes, letting the battery charge up and everything for the cold start this morning. So I think I got it done.